do do Dodo, what's happening gamers? Thanks for tuning in, man. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about this huge $1 million Fortnite Winter Royal Tournament that they're coming up with, uh, starting on July 24th, I believe. But we'll go over all the details, we'll run over you know, the full patch notes of it, everything you need to know, when you need to be there, how it works, how you're gonna advance, and, and everything that they, they know about the tournament so far. So please smash that like button if you guys enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, we'll jump right into this, man, and have a little bit of fun. All right, guys, so it's called the Fortnite Winter Royale. That is the name of the tournament. It, it's it might have something to do with that cloud, but we'll get into that a little bit. Winter Royale Tournament Announcement, 11-2018 by the Fortnite team. Hello, Fortnite competitors. The high-intensity battles you know from the fall skirmish have come to an end, but we're excited to announce that the next phase of Fortnite competitive play, the Winter Royale Online Tournament today. We're also revealing some major updates to our tournament systems and other plans in the near future in competitive modes. Now, what's cool about this is that anybody is able to um, apply for this. This is going to be kind of like the like the, the the cup matches that we've been going with and the scavenger cups it, anybody can 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 apply anybody can play these and you have a chance at actually going on and winning a huge prize pool even if you're a nobody man even if you're somebody that just plays the game recreationally or you know you might have a job however it goes you guys anybody can get into this game and uh into this tournament can register and have a chance at winning some really serious cash so online tournament fixes last month we released our in-game tournament system with your help we identified some critical issues with result in the systems not accomplishing our goals for a competitive environment in the six point three update we made critical fixes in game tournament matchmaking and various other bugs to provide a more competitive experience for example we found that players point totals were not influencing their matchmaking at all which basically just means they had it set up so that you would earn so many points and you would play against other players that had similar points ratings as you did you know so you're not really just playing against like people that don't have as many skills as you you're, you're it puts you into your more of your skill bracket when you're playing which is a pretty cool um I thought it was pretty cool for the matchmaking, man. Now players will be correctly matched against opponents with similar point totals. The deeper you advance in a tournament, the more challengers, the more challenging the matches will become. Please note that the players with them with many points may have to wait more than five minutes to find the suitable match. We will continue to explore the best fit for competition for competition by adjusting the matchmaking process over the time as needed. Uh, pretty interesting, man. We also fixed an issue around incorrect point totals showing up on the up on post matches or points being slow to update. We hope to get closer to the real time point tracking as we move forward. We will continue to improve this system over time. So if you haven't given up, uh, if, if you haven't given the online tournaments a chance since this update, jump in during the comp competition window and truly test your skills. So the pop-up cups, let's talk a little bit about the pop-up cups now. You'll start to notice a difference in pop-up cups. Within the event tabs, there will be online tournaments with different game settings. Think of these as the equivalent of competitive LTMs where we can test large adjustments in more competitive environments. Be sure to pay attention to the setting for each pop-up cup via the tournament details button in the in-game event tab. The rules of the gameplay will change over time. Similar to limited time modes, we plan to iterate and explore different in-game adjustments by closely monitoring competitive play in these pop-ups please continue to provide feedback and let us know what you think now we're getting to the good part boys the million dollar winter royal open fortnite competition this is what i'm talking about right here this is going to be how you guys can enter and just you know how the prize is going to be paid out so i'm pretty excited about this part right here man uh, the online tournament system will be used next year to determine participation in the Fortnite World Cup starting later this month. We will hold a test event that will e e em emulate the World Cup qualification process. This will help us gather valuable learning uh, to better prepare for the process next year. The solo test events will consist of two parts, the Winter Royal, Royal Qualifiers and the Winter Royal Finals, which will have the total of $1 million in prizes for, up for grabs. There will be several chances for everyone to try and get a high score during a Winter Royal Qualifier Days. The highest score you achieve during any event session will be the one that counts. So the, basically your highest, your best match is, is what they're going to take. So be sure to give it to your give it your all. As part of our ongoing competitive test to prepare for the Fortnite World Cup, Winter Royal will use the same game settings as they currently available in Pop-Up Cups. So it's going to basically be the same settings as the Scavenger Pop-Up Cups, which I think that's a good setup, man. I don't know. The top performance in each reign from NA and EU, so uh, that's basically from North America and uh, England and UK, will be verified. And those players found eligible will be invited to participate in the Winter Royal Finals for their for their reign, for their region. So basically, you won't be competing against uh, people in the UK if you live in America. That way, your, your servers stay good. While this tournament will be restricted to the NA and EU, we're planning on holding other region specific dates tournament in addition in the near future. For those interested in competing, our Winter Royal competition dates will be as the following. 
Okay, boys, Winter Royal Qualifier right there opens 11 24, 2018, and it goes to 11 25, 2018. I'm guessing that it starts at midnight. I'm not sure. They don't really say right there. That's the winter qualifier. Uh, Europe Winter Royal Finals. So if you make it to the finals, then if you're in the if you're in the you know UK Europe, your finals are going to start on the 11 30, 2018, and they're going to run to 12 1, excuse me, 2018. Uh, North America Winter Royal Finals. 12 11 2018 so that that is going to be starting in december 11th and going to december 12th uh, for specific times and listings for all other online tournaments be sure to follow the schedule in the game events guys so let's talk a little bit about what this means this is a i mean uh, that's all the patch notes. that's all they really tell you about the tournament so far so we got the dates down guys make sure you're there if you're in the u.s uh 11 24 2018 to 11 25 and that's even if you're in the eu actually so, uh, you know, wherever you're at, man, that's when the tournaments are going to start. You'll see them on your dashboard, kind of like you do the scavenger cup. And again, you're going to have to just participate with the rules that you guys read on there and follow them all. And if you do good enough, you have a chance to be invited into what is called the Europe winner or the North America winner Royal finals, or just the winner Royal files, wherever you're at. And then you have a chance to actually compete for some of that $1 million prize pool, man. So this is a great way, I think, in my opinion, to, for them to kind of get us involved and, and not make it to where you got to be a big YouTuber or anything, get specially invited or get known. You, know, you don't have to be famous, basically, to, to be able to participate in these tournaments because there's a lot of unknown players out there that really deserve a shot. So that being said, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smack that little like button down there. It really does help out. And check out our daily live streams, man. We come on Monday through Friday every single day. Have a good time. Play some Fortnite. And uh, I doubt we're going to be placing in this tournament, but we are going to give it our best. I'll tell you that much so till next time homies dodo dodo awkward challenge <laughs>